Hey, hello everybody, it's me Silver Soldier and welcome back to another Malware review aka Malware demonstration and for today's video I prepared something unique because this type of Malware have not been seen on my channel before. I'm gonna test a real computer worm. If you don't know what computer worm is, it is a type of Malware which can spread itself through the internet and cause a lot of harm on other devices. And this Malware is called Batman and it was created by DR6 and this Malware is compatible on, as you can see, Windows XP, also on older operating systems such as Windows 98 and Windows 95, aka the Windows 9X operating systems. And yes, in today's video I'm also gonna test this malware on these old operating systems. And believe me or not, this malware is very cool and unique, so you should watch this video till the end because it is going to be very interesting. But before we're gonna jump into this malware, we need to have some information about this malware, okay? We need to know something about this malware. So what I know, it has polymorphic engine. This engine dynamically changes the malware code in order to make itself undetectable by any antivirus software. So another feature this malware has is SMTP email engine. If we don't know what SMTP means, it's basically it's just the bridge between the user and the server and there is some kind of communication between these two objects. It allows the malware to automate the sending and the processing messages, so everything is going to be automated automatically uh, processed and sent via this engine. It has also a backdoor capabilities, which will get some unauthorized access to applications, network and computers. Also it has some destructive payloads, which can be executed on uh, some dates. The size of this worm is only around 100 kilobytes, but it can change due to the polymorphic engine. And payloads can look different on each operating system. I think I said everything important about this malware. Mm, I'm actually thinking what else should I say. It actually injects the explorer.exe during the process. So that have been said about this malware, so without further ado, let's launch this malware and see what will happen on this operating system. Oh my god, somebody's texting me. Like, why are you texting me? Oh my god, oh my god, my dad interrupted me. So, after execution, as you can see, it affected the explorer.exe. It actually injected this explorer.exe. I'm gonna show you what we can actually do with this. But, as you can see, also it affected the Microsoft Outlook. This message appeared because this malware actually tried to like spread itself through the Microsoft Outlook. Unfortunately for this malware, my uh, Microsoft Outlook on Windows XP doesn't work pretty well. As you can see, I got an error message and that's because I don't know why but for some unknown reasons I cannot uh, like run the Microsoft Outlook properly even though I try to fix it but unfortunately nothing worked for me so that's why and now there is a Windows security alert I also forgot to do one thing which is disabling firewall so I'm gonna do it and oh my god okay so the program crashed let me disable this firewall protection It's necessary to do that if you want to like run this malware properly. What actually happened, there have been noticed some security issues with this malware. The Windows firewall has blocked some features of this program, Windows Explorer. That's because this Windows Explorer has been injected with this uh, computer worm and this Explorer acts like a backdoor. So also I forgot to mention that this malware can get all of your files and uh, send it to the remote network. So all of your files will be available for the attacker. And I'm gonna show you where these files are located. Fortunately, the creator of this malware told me a lot of information, a lot of necessary information about this malware. I need to copy my IP address and now I need to launch the Internet Explorer and insert this IP address there. The port has to be 8080. And as you can see, now we have access to this backdoor. So here we have access to these files. And if I click on any of these uh, directories, as you can see here, there are all files which have been taken by this computer worm. And for the attacker, it is a very great thing because the attacker can like access all of my files. So if I click on this JPEG file, I can actually download this file. So that's very unique about this malware. It can actually steal your data. So that was one of the interesting feature which 
the malware can do. And now let me actually access to some of these malware payloads. So the first payload can happen on any of these days. If you run this malware on any of these day, days below 5, it will launch the first payload. So let me actually try it. Nothing is happening. But if I press enter... Oop, 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 oop. <laughs> can you hear that? Op, 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 op. Yeah, it can it can hook your uh, keyboard and it can detect this enter input. So if I press enter, op, then you op, will hear op. this uh, sound effect, op, which is op, like... Op. It's pretty neat. <laughs> It's pretty cool. That's everything of what this payload can do, but we are not done yet of course, because there's a second payload which is very destructive. And because of that I'm gonna disable my share folder as well. And now we can change the date to the um, to 13th of February. Uh, on this date the second payload will be launched and let me tell you, this payload is very destructive because it can corrupt almost every files on the system. So let me try it. And as you can see, it immediately restarts the computer. So that was pretty fast. But we are not done yet with this payload, of course. Oh my god, my background has been changed. By the way, this malware has been inspired by Trojan Win32 Gen T, which was demonstrated on Danok 1 series. I'm sorry if I mispronounce his name. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm so sorry, guys. But as you can see, it changed my wallpaper, and now the malware is actually trying to corrupt some of the data. And as you can see, my window has been changed to this light blue color. It actually injected memory. That's why we can see the different colors on every window. So as you can see, even the text of these applications have been changed. My files uh, are not corrupted yet. I believe they will be corrupted soon. And as you can see, the CPU is skyrocketing. Oh my God, like that's a lot of CPU usage. Oh my god, the text is not even readable. We need to give this malware some some time. Uh, the author told me that I should definitely not try to reboot the machine before the ultimate destruction. So I'm gonna wait until the malware will infect all of the all of the files on the system. Well, nothing happened. Fucking war! So if you wonder what this text means, it uh, says something about uh, that the computer cannot handle it anymore. Okay, it seems that the malware is not doing anything. The creator told me that the malware should like automatically reboot the system or crash the system, but apparently it doesn't work, so let me do it by myself. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to boot into the system again. Oh my god! Did you hear that lovely sound? Oh my god! That's That was so beautiful by the way. Okay, and on this operating system it should look very similar, but there are some changes. The, the payloads and the destruction will look a little bit different. And fortunately on this operating system my Microsoft Outlook works perfectly fine. As you can see, uh, I have some inboxes, okay, and everything works as it should work. So this malware should affect this Microsoft Outlook in immediately after execution. Let's jump into my Microsoft Outlook and see if it if it did something and as you can see i have uh, some out boxes and as you can see it tried to like email uh, to me and here we have this attachment which is an actually a uh, worm also trying to email to some random people with the same attachment but i cannot even rename this file what the fuck um i don't know what is happening with these files these files are infected with worm but i can't launch them for some reasons and uh, what? I can't access any of these files, as you can see. Wait, so it actually did some kind of destruction. So the destruction is different. Oh, it is. It, it is actually different. 
So when I launch the first payload, it doesn't want, it doesn't want to let me open any of these files. And as you can see here, uh, all files have been corrupted on this operating system. O okay, 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 I get it, I get it. So the first payload on this operating system will corrupt some of these files. As you can see, I can't open any of these applications. I cannot even open the my computer, or at least I can like access to its properties. Something has been corrupted. I don't know what exactly, but the files are behaving very strangely. Um, well, I think I'm cooked right now. Okay, so let me restart the computer and jump onto second payload. I hope the second payload will work perfectly fine. Immediately it restart the computer and wow. So we have the same uh, wallpaper. So this payload should behave differently. And as you can see, it did the same thing with these colors. And for some reasons, my mouse doesn't want to appear. What? My mouse disappeared. Okay, 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 my mouse is back. <laughs> um, I don't know why they hide my mouse for a while, but hey, it doesn't matter. And the colors look a bit different than on Windows XP. It's more bluish. At this point, the malware is trying to infect, as on the Windows XP, all the files. And I forgot to mention that fortunately, I don't have access to the internet on this operating system, so this Microsoft Outlook will not spread this malware to other people. As you can see, it tried to send even more emails, and oh my god, look at these messages. So yeah, that would be it for the Microsoft Outlook and now we can like try to use this computer normally but oh my god it freezed so as you can see it doesn't work pretty well so I need to restart this computer I'm wondering if we can boot into the system but it seems that uh, the Windows is corrupted because this is a not the usual behavior. As you can see, it just doesn't want to load this operating system because all the files have been damaged, which means that it cannot even like load it properly. Here we are on the Windows 95 and again, amazing startup sound, oh my god. I should say something about this operating system. I didn't even know that there is only one system sound, which is the system startup. If I run into some problems, then there is no sound for the error message boxes, which is very strange. Okay, whatever. Let me check my Microsoft Outlook if everything has been changed here. And what? It seems that it didn't affect this, this Microsoft Outlook. And hey, hello Clippy. What's up, man? What? Hey, man, you forgot your uh, light bulb. Like, this operating system is fucking cursed. Like, look at this. What the fuck is happening? Clippy, hello. What What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Oh my god. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, let me try to open the Microsoft Outlook again. Maybe it will work right now. Because it should affect the Microsoft Outlook on this operating system as well. But uh, for some strange reasons, I cannot open the Microsoft Outlook. Like, I don't know. I think the Windows is a stroke again. Like, fucking Windows 8. What are you thinking about? man what are you doing it seems that uh, on this operating system the microsoft outlook doesn't work as it should work i don't know why you know what at least it worked on windows 98 okay i'm actually like tired of this nonsense hey can you please like cooperate with me hello microsoft outlook oh my god the fuck are you doing man shut the fuck up man like stop doing these uh, movements man i'm not impressed by it you know what go fuck yourself thank you Okay, so we are ready for the second payload, aka the last payload. And immediately it just restart the computer, oh my god. That was very fast. So I wonder which uh, type of destruction we're gonna, we gonna experience. Oh, and the same image, creepy image with Bill Gates. I assume this is the Bill Gates, like it has to be Bill Gates, man. Wait, what? Microsoft Office 2000 file optimizer. Man, the Microsoft Outlook is cursed on this operating system. I have no fucking idea. Why is that? And again, the colors has been changed. The mouse on this operating system is like very weird. Like, what? Uh, I think the malware is doing something to this mouse. Wait, what? what the fuck is happening to my mouse? Bro, what are these fucking... Look at these fucking buttons! How small they are! Um, like, I can... I barely can see them. I've never seen buttons like this. I think this is not a normal behavior. These buttons should appear normally, but it seems that they were corrupted or something. Oh, and my computer has freezed. And yeah, I think we are dead.
I cannot click on anything, so that would be it for the last payload. Let's see what will happen after restart. As you can see, the master boot record has been cooked, aka overwritten. Hmm, so yeah, this computer worm is definitely destructive, and it's even it's even way more dangerous because it can spread itself through the internet. That would be it for this video, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and write a comment. Thank you, and goodbye.